Hello students, in this video we'll discuss the basic properties of limit superior and limit inferior. Let's recall if xn is a bounded sequence of real numbers, then the limb soup superior is, we say it's the limb soup as n goes to infinity of xn, is the limit, ordinary limit as n goes to infinity, of the soup over k bigger than or equal to n of x sub k. That's what the limb soup is. And then analogously, the limb inf is defined by the following formula. Analogously, the limb inf as n goes to infinity of xn is the limit as n goes to infinity of the infimum over k bigger than or equal to n of xk like this, okay? And so of course one thing we can, so what's one sort of elementary property of these things, so prop, is that since, since the soup k bigger than or equal to n of xk is bigger than or equal to the infimum, k bigger than or equal to n of xk trivially. This implies that the limb soup as n goes to infinity, which we proved in a pre previous video, always exists. So the limb soup and limit always exist even if the limit does not exist, right? The limb soup as n goes to infinity of xn is always bigger than or equal to the limb inf. Uh, this would be limb inf, not limb soup. So the bar matters actually. So limb inf, limb inf, n goes to infinity of xn. That's a trivial consequence over this. We get limb soups are always bigger than limb imps, right? Okay. Next thing I'll prove is the following. Let's suppose <clears throat> proposition. If the limb soup, if limb soup, let's just do this for limb soup as n goes to infinity of xn is equal to some number x, then there is a subsequence x and k of the original sequence, k goes from 1 to infinity, such that that original set subsequence converges in limit as k goes to infinity of x and k is equal to x, which is, of course, just the limb soup in this case. In other words, I can always find a subsequence which converges to the limb soup, right? That's the idea. Okay, and so by... <clears throat> what we can do is we'll initialize the proof, right? So how, how does the proof go? So proof goes as follows. So proof, let S n be the soup k bigger than or equal to n of x k, right? And then pick, pick a number, pick, um, just say an n zero and n, such that S n zero, S n zero plus one, minus one, minus one, less than x n zero, less than or equal to s n zero like that. In other words, I can do this by a supreme approximation. Since I plug in n zero over here, n zero plus one, n zero plus one, for example, then I know that I can find an x in that sequence in that, over that set, which gets which is always bigger than one minus the supremum. Otherwise, if, if I couldn't find such an x, then s zero n minus one minus one would be the supremum, not s zero n plus one, right? So in other words, that it, wait, I can always find this, and then now pick n one bigger than n zero, such that what? Such that s n one s n one minus one half less than xn1 less than sn1 like this. In other words, I can find this n1, an xn1 over here that has this property over here by the, by the same supreme approximation. So in, in general, and in general, and in general what? In general, find nk such that nk is strictly bigger than nk plus 1 
and xk and k is such that we have the following inequality, such that we have s n k minus 1 over k less than x n k less than or equal to, of course, that's less than or equal to, of course, less than or equal to s n k like this. That's always possible, again, by supreme approximation. And now I have a subsequence, right? And so now, by the, by the squeeze theorem, by the squeeze theorem, what can I say? I can say the limit as k goes to infinity of s and k minus 1 over k is less than or equal to the limit as k goes to infinity of x and k, which we're going to prove exists, and that's less than the limit as k goes to infinity of s and k. This, of course, goes to the what? That goes to the limb soup as n goes to infinity of x n. That's less than or equal to the limit of this subsequence, the limit as k goes to infinity of x n k. And that's less than or equal to the limb soup n goes to infinity of xn. So in other words, this subsequence over here, the subsequence xnk, so hence, hence this subsequence xnk, k goes from 1 to infinity, converges to the limb soup. I can apply the exact same argument with the limb inf, right? So in other words, by the limb inf, I can do it in phenomenal approximation, except what's going to happen over here is that these inequalities over here are going to turn into what? These inequalities are all going to flip, and you're going to have a plus 1 over n on this side of the equation, and bigger than or equal to the infimum over here, x, y, n, k over here, and then the infimum plus 1 over k, and then you pass the limit using the sandwich theorem. So in other words, for limb soups and limb imps, I can always find the subsequence of the original sequence that converges to those, um, and since these things, of course, are bounded, these limits are over, over here are definitely going to exist. And so I know that I can always extract a subsequence of the original sequence which converges to the limb soup, a sequence of the original sequence which converges to the limb inf, and then later we're going to show that if the limb soup and the limb inf are equal to each other, right, in that case, then the sequence has to be Cauchy, and therefore the limb soup and the limb inf will agree with the ordinary limit. We'll prove that in a further video. Thank you very much.